The role of the default mode network of the brain in borderline personality disorder, and how rational emotive behavior therapy can help in its treatment. The default mode network is a group of brain regions that are active when we are not engaged in a specific task, such as when we are daydreaming, remembering the past, or imagining the future. The default mode network has been linked to various aspects of self-referential processing, such as self-awareness, self-evaluation, and self-regulation. Borderline personality disorder is a mental disorder characterized by instability in mood, relationships, self-image, and behavior. People with borderline personality disorder often have difficulties with emotion regulation, impulse control, and identity formation. They may also experience chronic feelings of emptiness, abandonment, and dissociation. It has been hypothesized that the default mode network may play a role in borderline personality disorder and that this may have implications for its diagnosis and treatment. Several studies have shown that people with borderline personality disorder have abnormal patterns of activity and connectivity in the default mode network. For example, compared to healthy controls, people with BPD show reduced activity in the medial prefrontal cortex and increased activity in the posterior cingulate cortex, two core regions of the default mode network. The medial prefrontal cortex is involved in self-referential thinking and perspective taking, while the posterior cingulate cortex is involved in memory retrieval and emotional processing. These findings suggest that people with BPD may have impaired self-awareness and empathy, as well as enhanced rumination and emotional reactivity. Moreover, people with borderline personality disorder show reduced functional connectivity between the medial prefrontal cortex and other regions of the default mode network, such as the temporal poles and the hippocampus. These regions are involved in autobiographical memory and social cognition. These findings suggest that people with borderline personality disorder may have difficulties integrating their personal history and social context into a coherent sense of self. The role of the default mode network in borderline personality disorder may have important implications for diagnosis and treatment. For diagnosis, measuring the activity and connectivity of the default mode network may provide a biomarker for identifying people with borderline personality disorder or those at risk of developing it. For treatment, targeting the default mode network with interventions such as neurofeedback or transcranial magnetic stimulation may help modulate its function and improve symptoms of borderline personality disorder. Additionally, Psychotherapies that aim to enhance self-awareness, emotion regulation, and identity formation may also benefit from considering the role of the default mode network in borderline personality disorder. REBT stands for Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, a type of cognitive behavioral therapy that helps people challenge and change their irrational beliefs and emotions. It may enhance self-awareness, emotion regulation, and identity formation in several ways. First, REBT may increase self-awareness by helping people identify and examine their inferences, that is, thoughts that attribute meaning to situations or events, as well as dysfunctional beliefs, which are evaluative cognitions that influence their emotions and behaviors. By becoming more aware of their own thinking patterns, people can gain insight into their motivations, values, and goals. Second, REBT may improve emotion regulation by teaching people how to dispute and replace their irrational beliefs with more rational and adaptive ones. By doing so, people can reduce the intensity and frequency of negative emotions such as anger, anxiety, guilt, or depression, and even better, the model may help clients actually replace their dysfunctional beliefs with functional ones that better help them reach their desired goals in life. They can also learn to cope with stress and adversity more effectively and develop a more realistic and optimistic outlook on life. Third, REBT may facilitate identity formation by helping people unconditionally accept themselves and others by challenging and replacing their irrational beliefs. In this way, people can free themselves from the expectations and judgments of others and develop a more realistic and flexible sense of self. 
They can also explore their interests, passions, and strengths and pursue their personal growth and fulfillment. For more information on rational emotive behavior therapy can help treat individuals with personality disorders, including borderline personality disorder, go to the website of the Albert Ellis Institute and under professional workshops find upcoming workshops relevant to this and many other topics.